This lesson is on what to avoid if you're taking levothyroxine, which is also known as Synthroid. So we're going to discuss certain foods and beverages, along with certain supplements and other prescription medications that should be avoided if you're taking levothyroxine. Before we talk about those things to avoid, let's discuss briefly how levothyroxine works and also some of the side effects of its use. So levothyroxine or Synthroid is a medication used to treat hypothyroidism or a low functioning thyroid. Again, the thyroid gland is in your throat. It produces thyroid hormones. We'll discuss that here in a moment. And levothyroxine is synthetic thyroxine or T4, which is one of the thyroid hormones. So this is where we get the name Synthroid, synthetic thyroxine. And the mechanism of action is as follows. Because it is essentially thyroxine or T4, it acts like T4 in the sense that it gets converted to T3, which is the active form of thyroid hormone. So T4 is kind of an inactive or reservoir form. So it gets converted to T3, which is the active form, and then activates thyroid receptors. So again, T4 and T3 are those thyroid hormones, and we're using a synthetic form of T4, which gets converted into T3, the active form, and it has certain effects, including effects on metabolism, movement, and mentation. So it increases all of these, the three Ms. And use of levothyroxine can cause certain mild to severe side effects, including anxiety, tremulousness, weight loss, and insomnia. Now let's discuss what to avoid when you're taking this medication. So you want to avoid food when you're taking this medication. The proper way to take this medication is to take it on an empty stomach at the same time every day. So you want to avoid foods and beverages in general for at least 30 to 60 minutes after taking levothyroxine. So concomitant or concurrent food intake with levothyroxine is going to lead to reductions in levothyroxine levels because a lot of things in the food can bind to levothyroxine or Synthroid preventing its absorption. So it again has decreased gastrointestinal absorption if you take it with food. So this is why you don't get the same effect. So you're going to have less effect of levothyroxine. Something else you want to avoid is caffeine. So caffeine itself can reduce levels of levothyroxine by inhibiting gastrointestinal absorption. So you also want to avoid ingestion of caffeine for at least 60 minutes after you've taken levothyroxine because it can bind to and prevent levothyroxine's absorption. Additionally, caffeine can also increase the sympathetic related side effects of levothyroxine. So it can worsen the side effects of levothyroxine, including the jitteriness, the anxiety, and the tremors. In addition to food and caffeine, you also want to avoid milk and calcium consumption. So if you're taking any calcium supplements or even drinking milk or lots of milk, you want to avoid doing that for several hours, usually up to four hours after taking levothyroxine because the calcium in the milk and calcium supplements can bind to levothyroxine, preventing its absorption as well. So again, you're going to have lower levels of levothyroxine than you want. Another important supplement to avoid is magnesium. So you want to avoid magnesium, again, for at least four hours after taking levothyroxine because it binds to levothyroxine, preventing its absorption in the gastrointestinal tract. So you're going to have lower levothyroxine levels as well. And then another one is iron supplements. So the same goes for iron supplements. You want to avoid taking them for at least four hours after taking levothyroxine because of the same effects. It lowers levels of levothyroxine. So a lot of these dietary factors and supplement intake could explain why you might be having reduced efficacy of your levothyroxine. So if you're taking levothyroxine, even if you're taking it at the same time of day and you're still not getting the effects that you're wanting, perhaps you're still having a lot of the signs and symptoms of hypothyroidism, it could be because you're taking some other supplements too close to when you're taking levothyroxine. So these are all important considerations to make. Now let's talk about some prescription medications you want to avoid when taking levothyroxine. Some of these include tricyclic antidepressants, so TCA antidepressants including amitriptyline, clomipramine, disipramine, doxepin, imipramine, and nortriptyline. And the reason you want to avoid taking these is because levothyroxine itself increases the effects of these TCA medications. So you're going to essentially increase the response from these tricyclic antidepressants so you can have more side effects of these medications. So you want to look out and avoid taking these if possible. So talk to your healthcare provider about switching to another medication. 
again, because you're going to have an increased risk of side effects from these particular medications if you're taking levothyroxine along with them. Another medication you want to look out for when taking levothyroxine is metformin. So metformin is a medication used to treat type 2 diabetes, so it has very widespread use. So this is an important consideration when you're taking levothyroxine or Synthroid. The reason is because levothyroxine reduces the efficacy of metformin by inhibiting metformin effects. So it's not so much something to avoid, but it's something to consider. Perhaps if you're taking levothyroxine or Synthroid and metformin and you're starting to have issues with glycemic control, it may be because levothyroxine is reducing the effects of metformin. So you're decreasing your ability of the metformin to reduce blood glucose levels. So this could be an important consideration to think about. Another medication you want to look out for when taking levothyroxine is Orlistat. So Orlistat is a medication used for weight loss and use with levothyroxine reduces absorption of levothyroxine, reducing the effects of levothyroxine. Another group of medications you really want to look out for if you're taking levothyroxine because it can worsen or cause serious implications in some patients is anticoagulant use. So anticoagulants like antithrombin-3, ergotribin, fondaparinux, and heparin use, any of those type of medications, and also warfarin as well, use with these medications along with levothyroxine can increase the activity of these anticoagulants. So if you're increasing the activity of these anticoagulants too much, you can have increased risk of problematic bleeding. So very important to look out for use of anticoagulants with levothyroxine. Another medication you want to look out for is digoxin. So digoxin is a medication for heart arrhythmias. Concurrent use with levothyroxine reduces the effect of digoxin. So you might be wondering why your digoxin might not be working as it used to if you've just started Synthroid, but this could be the reason because levothyroxine can inhibit the effects of digoxin and it's not entirely understood why. And another medication to look out for is cholestyramine. So cholestyramine is medication used to treat high cholesterol levels. So it's a bile acid sequestrant. And this medication, along with levothyroxine, can reduce levels of levothyroxine. It prevents its absorption, similar to some of those dietary factors we talked about before. Another medication you want to look out for is aluxedolene. So aluxedolene is a medication used to treat abdominal pain and diarrhea and irritable bowel syndrome, the diarrhea prominent type, it increases levels of levothyroxine. So that's important. So this medication can increase levels of levothyroxine more than expected, increasing the risk of side effects of levothyroxine. So this can be a very important one to look out for. And another very important group of medications that you want to keep an eye on if you're using levothyroxine is birth control pills. So the birth control pills, especially those that contain estrogen, so the combined hormonal contraceptives. So not the progestin-only ones, but the ones with estrogen are very important to look out for. So especially birth control pills that contain this assortment, levonorgestrel, ethanoestradiol, ferrous bisglycinate. Because estrogens themselves can affect the absorption of levothyroxine, it reduces the absorption of levothyroxine, but it can also increase the requirement, bodily requirement, for thyroid hormones. So it prompts the body to require more thyroid hormone than usual. So the estrogens, again, reduce levothyroxine absorption, but also increase the bodily requirement for hormone itself. So there can be a combination of effects with regards to estrogen-containing birth control pills. Please check out my lesson on the side effects of levothyroxine if you want more information on that topic. Please consider joining as member for members-only content. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe for more lessons like this one. And as always, thanks for watching, and hope to see you again soon.